How's it going, YouTube? This video is a request from Bright, who commented on my blog on one of my videos. He said, what's up, Howie? I have a question for you. First, let me just wanted to say thanks for the helpful videos. I just rooted my Thunderbolt um, with the help of your video I'm running DASBAMP Forever 1.0.6. So my question is, can you do a video with step-by-step -step instructions showing how to overclock or set up the set PC or CPU for the ROM DASBAMP Forever 1.0.6? Thanks in advance. Sure, right. I can show you how to do that, and hopefully it'll be helpful to some other people. Okay, so this is my Thunderbolt running DASBAMP 1.0.6. And if you have a Thunderbolt running that ROM, um, if you're running a DAS BAMP ROM, then you can do it directly from your phone. You don't have to download set CPU. Um, and I'll show you how to do that. You go into your applications and you go up to the top and there's something called BAMP settings right here. Sorry, this webcam is crappy, so it's hard to see, but that's what it is. Um, if you have an older version of BAMF, it'll be something like DAS BAMF Toolbox um, or something like that. But the newer ones, it's called BAMF Settings, so you hit that. And then right at the top, it says CPU Options. So you click on that, and right there, you can adjust your CPU speeds. So the minimum is set at 0.2 gigahertz I believe that's what it is um, and the maximum was set at 1.2 gigahertz um, and you can't go higher than that with the kernel that it comes with uh, if you have a different kernel installed you'll be able to adjust it on here and you can also adjust the governor right here it says CPU governor it's on on demand which you know I think is the best it gets you the best battery life um, for the speed if you do performance you're gonna have a little higher uh, performance, uh, a little higher CPU speeds, but your battery life isn't going to be as good. And user space, I'm not exactly sure. I think that's probably better battery life with less speed. Um, so I just use on demand. Okay, and you hit apply, and you're good to go. Um, now, if you don't have a BAMF ROM, you can use set CPU. You don't need to if you have a BAMF ROM, and I don't know if it'll mess it up if you use set CPU since it already has, uh, you know, a CPU um, adjuster built in. But you can download it from the market. It costs a dollar ninety nine, I believe. Or if you know how to get an app for free, you can get it for free. But anyways, you're gonna go into set CPU. Where is it? There it is. All right. And the first time it'll ask you, you know, for the root rights. So you click OK. And anyways, and it's showing the same information. The highest I can do is 1.2 gigahertz, and the lowest um, is 0.245 mega or gigahertz. And it's got the same scaling options of user space, on demand, and performance. Um, and it shows you what your current uh, processor speed is here. When you use a lot of stuff, it'll go up higher. Um, and when your phone is, you know screen is off and you're not doing anything it'll scale down to a lower processor speed so that it can save you battery which is obviously good um, now if you want to be able to overclock it higher than 1 gigahertz or 1.2 gigahertz what you can do is go to there's if you do a google search for whatever type bone you have um, and then kernels it you'll find lots of results um, since Bright asked me about this video. I'll show you um, the one for the Thunderbolt, and I'll put it in the description. But basically, it's called Thunderbolt Kernels List, and it's um, just a thread from ThunderboltForums.com. But you go to it, and it has all these different kernels here, um, and you can go to them and download them and flash them to your phone. And if you don't know how to do that, um, it's not very hard. What you would do is you would download the kernel onto your computer, and then plug your phone in and transfer it to your phone, and then you would boot your phone up into recovery mode, which is you can do. I'll show you how to do that right now. So let's say you've downloaded the ROM, or I'm sorry, you've downloaded the kernel that you want to flash and use. What you would do is 
hold the power button down and you can do restart and then you got different options here obviously you can do a normal restart a hot restart bootloader or recovery so you'd want to do recovery so let that go while this is going um, if you haven't already checked it out please check out my blog at www.everythingandroidnow.blogspot.com there's a lot of other how-to videos and reviews from applications and I do a lot of videos like this where people uh, ask me to make a video showing how to do something so if you have a video request let me know and most likely I'll make you a video um, if it's easier to show that than just explain it in text so your phone's gonna load up All right, now this is recovery mode, and if you've installed a ROM, you should be familiar with this, but you're going to do it just like you would installing a ROM. You're going to go down to install zip from SD card, click power to go to it, and then you're going to go to choose zip from SD card, which is the second one. I know you, you guys can't see that, the camera's bad, but it's the second one there. Choose that, and if you hit the up volume button, then it's going to bring you to the bottom where you're going to have all your ROMs that you have downloaded and other type things and you're going to just choose it and hit power and install it and once it's installed then you can go back and go back again and reboot the system and you know all the kernels are a little different um, the one I've heard that works well for the DAS BAMP forever 1.0.6 um, I will put in the description um, I forget the name of it it's ISO one, I think it's called, or something like that. But like I said, I'll put it in the description. But I I haven't overclocked this ROM higher than what it came with because I haven't found a need to. It seems to run really smooth the way it is. Um, so yeah, um, once you've got once you've just flashed the new kernel, then you can go into either set CPU or go into the DAS BAMP settings and um, you know, overclock it that way. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask me. I hope I answered your question right. Um, if I didn't, uh, ask me a more specific question, and I'll let you know. Um, but that's how you overclock it, and that's how you adjust the CPU settings. Thanks. Give me a thumbs up, and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And check out my blog. Thanks.